In this video, we are going to learn how you can import a step file in Autodesk Fusion 360. Most of you guys are doing it wrong by just going to the files and clicking on the open command. While it isn't a mistake, but still, there is a more organized way to do it. First step is to open the data panel by clicking on the top left corner in the software. Data panel consists of all your projects and folders created in them. You can open any existing project, or you can create a new project as well. For this tutorial, we will create a new project. You can name the project according to the design or anything what you got. Here, our new project is created successfully. Now at the top, we can see two options. The first one is Upload, and the second one is New Folder. Let's talk about the New Folder first. Creating a new folder generally means to create different folders for different files so that all your files are organized and not cluttered everywhere. For example, I want my 3D models and 2D drawings to be organized well so that I can access any file quickly and efficiently. So let us create two different folders, one for the 3D files and one for the 2D files. Once the folder is created, I will click onto the 3D Files folder and then click on the Upload button. We will select the step file to be uploaded in the software from the local computer. After selecting the required file, we can see the location option at the bottom. If we click on that, we can change the project and folders. But as we are already created the desired project and folder, the location will get selected by default. Next step is to hit on the upload button. And depending on the file size and network connection, your step file will be successfully uploaded in the software. After the upload is complete, right click on the bottom right corner of the model view, where it states V1, and then click on open. You can easily edit the file. Hence, you have imported your step file in a more organized and clutter-free manner. When it comes to working on complex assemblies and 3D models, it's crucial to organize all the data efficiently, and during such times, this video will definitely help you out. Hope you like the content. Do consider subscribing to my channel for future tips and tricks. Thank you for sticking till the end. Do check out my channel for more Fusion 360 content.